Hello and welcome to the 8th tutorial in the CSS Basics tutorial series and in this tutorial we'll look at how to set the font colour of text. This tutorial assumes you've done tutorial 1. If you haven't, there'll be a link in the description to the source code and as usual there'll be a link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial. If you've been following this series you might have already realised that we've technically set the colour for font anyway but I haven't like specifically had a tutorial for it and this is just a, a separate video in case somebody just goes to this tutorial and just wants to know how to set the font colour and hasn't been watching the rest but so let's just get into it I'm going to go ahead and open up a text editor sorry about that, that was just some Cocos development let's open the file from tutorial 1 and then in index.css, as you can see, we've already got it there, but I'll just get rid of it a second. Set the color of text, you type in color, and then just type in the actual color that you want it to be. So I'm going to just put in green for now. Save that. It's going to open up the page in the web browser. And there we go, it's green. Also, what we'll do is if we go back here, you can actually put hexadecimal value so if we just put hash and then we just put a number go back to group home refresh and now it's sort of a grey colour and you might think this means nothing to anyone and you'll be right it doesn't really mean anything to anyone so you actually want to be able to find out what hexadecimal values represent what colour and you can easily do that if you just put into google hexadecimal colour and then there's, there's so many websites out there that allow you to get colours for hexadecimal values. So let's have a look on here. Imagine if I wanted this purple one. It's CC33FF. So let's just go here and type in CC33FF. 33FF. So if, you know, if we go back to our browser, the, color sh the, the, the colour of the text should be this now. And for refresh and there we go that's the color of the text set in the next tutorial we're going to look at how to set the font property which allows you to set quite a lot of other properties like um, the font file and the family that it's using the size of it etc if you need any source code from this tutorial or the base project all the links will be in the description and if you, if you have any questions feel free to message us and thanks for watching